Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. Today we're going to be working on our 1996 Dodge Ram 1500. I want to show you something super simple, removing and reinstalling a power steering cooler. It'll be super easy, I can do it and you can do it too. As always, if you need any parts, you can check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Okay friends, so we're underneath the vehicle. We found where our power steering cooler is, right? We have our power steering lines that lead right to it. So we're just gonna disconnect these clamps. Whatever size takes off the clamp for you is the one you're gonna use. For me, it's a quarter inch. Sometimes they're eight millimeter, sometimes they're seven millimeter. Um, I've even seen them five millimeter, which is weird, but let's slide that. Awesome. Just grab your hose, see if you can get it to break free. This one does not wanna break free. You can use something as simple as a pocket screwdriver. Just go right along here. If you have some penetrant spray, you could try to spray it in there. That'll probably be helpful to your cause. I'm gonna grab some of that real quick. Just gonna go right around the hose here. See if I can get the penetrant to work its way in. Do its job for me. Once it does its job, I can do mine. And then we'll all be much happier. This little curved pick right here works very well. You just wanna be careful not to poke any holes in the hose, of course. So when you go, you just bring the pointy end along the metal, not out like this. Okay, just right along the metal. There we are. We just need this to break free here. There we go, it's moving now. So as I twist, I'm just kind of tugging at the same time. Fluid's gonna come out, so you need to make sure you have your collection bucket. We are, just let it drain into there. It might be a lot, might be a little, I don't know. We're gonna take off this hose, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's see if it's stuck. This one I can twist, it's much newer. And here we are. Both hoses are off. We're gonna remove the mounting bolt, which is right here. It's a 13 millimeter head. Just gonna pull this hose up and out of the way here. Plenty of fluid running out here. There we are. Just get our mounting bolt out of there at some point. But anyway, that's our power steering cooler right there. Super easy to take out, as you saw. A couple of hoses, one mounting bolt. Easy peasy. Okay, so it's time to install our cooler. We've got our mounting bolt. We've got the cooler, of course, whether it's old or new. It's gonna go right up in here. We're gonna take our mounting bolt. Start it right into this hole, right where we took it out of, 13 millimeter. And snug here. There it is. So now that it's bottomed out, we're just gonna go a little bit more. That's it. Get our socket off of here, give it a nice wiggle. That feels pretty great. Now we're clear to put on our power steering hoses. We're gonna take the return hose here, Right up onto there. Give it a little wiggle. Slide it right on. You want to get it so it's as close to bottomed out on there as possible, if not touching. Sometimes it's super hard to get it all the way down. There we are. It's pretty good. Grab my ratchet. Just gonna snug this up. I'm gonna make sure that the clamp's in the same spot that it was originally. Okay, that's pretty much bottomed out. Just gonna give it a teeny bit more. Give it a nice twist. It's not going anywhere. I love it. Let's move along. Grab this other hose. Just gonna put it right on here. Give it a nice push. That one bottomed right out. Get our clamp on there. Slide it. You'll notice that I didn't put the clamp all the way down at the end. You wanna leave just a little bit of hose down at the end there, but make sure that you still have plenty of metal going through. The metal on this comes all the way up to pretty much where my thumb ends. So I'd say that we're pretty good. We're gonna be clamping on the metal. Nice tug. That feels really great. Awesome. I love it. These look good. They're nice and tight. I'd say we're clear to move on to the next step. So now we're just gonna add a little bit of power steering fluid here. 
This is an older vehicle, so it's not really as picky about power steering fluids as a lot of the newer vehicles. Um, so with this fluid, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and add power steering fluid, or you can add some ATF if you didn't have access to power steering, but you have transmission fluid laying around. The truck's not gonna mind. It's still gonna do its job, and it's gonna be super happy. As long as it's lubricated, and it's got plenty of fluid in there, to the point that the pump isn't gonna be turning air in with the fluid, you should be all set. So we just uh, added some fluid. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the vehicle, let it burp out all its air that's inside the steering system there. Then you're gonna check your fluid level. When you check your fluid level, you can tell on the little dipstick here, we've got an add line, which has a little arrow down to here. You have a hot line, which is the maximum line when it's hot up there. Once your vehicle's hot, you don't want your fluid anywhere up past that hot line. If the vehicle's hot and it's anywhere down here, well, of course you're gonna have to add some. But if it's anywhere in between the add and the hot, we'll say the word add and the hot when it's hot, you're doing all right, okay? So just keep topping it off till you get to that point and then take her for a nice road test and down the road you go. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.